definitely think this is a win for the older coaches out there because when you look at the hires, as I said, around the NFL this offseason, Robert Sala, young guy, Jets. Nick Sirianni, young guy, Eagles. Brandon Staley, really young guy, Chargers. Dan Campbell, young guy, Lions. Arthur Smith, young guy, Falcons. All of them unproven, inexperienced head coaches their first time around the block. And I don't want to discredit those hires because I think that what we've seen is that guys like Brian Flores and Sean McVay and Joe Judge and Matt LaFleur were in that boat. They were young 30-somethings or early 40-somethings that got their first gig, and they put their stamps on their on their organizations, and it really worked out well. Those are all bright guys that seem to be able to immediately kind of put their put their stamp on things. But this big game proves that there is value to experience. There is value, and there is value to the wisdom that comes along with it. And I think that both of these teams wouldn't be where they are without their head coaches. I really do. I mean, Mahomes is amazing and Tom Brady's amazing, but there is definitely a part of them, of these organizations and their success, that is directly correlated to their head coaches. It's not like either one of these guys is passengers. It's not like either one of these guys is like a Frank Vogel with the Lakers. He's just around, kind of we feel like he's along for the ride and anybody could have steered them to a championship. It doesn't feel that way at all. It feels like both of these teams are where they are, at least partially because of the old guys. And that's a really cool storyline going into this game. The oldest combined ages in Super Bowl history, Arians and Reed. Reed is a chance to make history going back to back. Arians is a chance to be history, to win a Super Bowl at 68 years old. Nobody's ever done that.